Hey everyone, it's Yvonne Emile Elizondo from Silver Moon Astrology and Transpersonal Counseling, also known as Silver Moon Counseling. And happy Samhain! Happy Samhain! Happy Halloween! I have been waiting for this day the entire year, for a whole year. A whole year. This is like my absolute favorite day of the entire year. Yes, I love Christmas. Yes, I love Thanksgiving. But I have to tell you, this witch comes alive today on Samhain, on Hallow's Eve, on Halloween. And I wanted to share a few Halloween-y things um, with you that maybe you could do today to help, you know, connect with the spirit of, of Samhain and the spirit of Halloween. So I'm just going to share with you what Samhain um, is, and uh, then we'll dive into a little bit of the astrology. And then we will, I will show you some of these um, very quick very simple activities that you can do. I don't have a lot of time nowadays to dive into like my really cool old school witchy stuff that I used to do. And um, so I'm just going to share something very simple with you and we'll go from there. So yeah, the weather has been perfect today. It's like in the 40s and I'm finally feeling that, um, you know, Samhain, Halloween-y, witchy vibe. Thank goodness. The last few days have not been helpful. The astrology has been trying to kill me. Um, Let's put that aside for now. But anyhow, so let's focus on uh, Samhain. Okay, so in the States, we know, well, pretty much, we know Halloween, right? But Samhain is a, originally was a pagan festival, okay? And it was the last of the fire festivals. It was the last of the harvest festivals. And so this was a time when we were preparing to go into the underworld, so to speak. We were preparing to enter fall and winter, the dark you know, season of, of the year. And so Samhain is very representative of all things hidden, right? And so this is what we celebrate right now. We celebrate all things hidden and, and it's all the fun stuff for me right now. It's all the witchy stuff. It's the, you know, the tarot and the astrology and the occult and, and all of that fun stuff, right? But it's also about celebrating our ancestors in spirit, those have who have transitioned um, from this earthly incarnation into spirit form. It's about celebrating our spirit guides who probably get really annoyed with us because you know, we're human and we make like really silly decisions a lot of times. So um, this is a great fire festival time. And that's why we like candles. Okay. So um, I posted a quick little video yesterday on my Facebook about the candles that I had prepared for celebrating, you know, um, Samhain and Hallow's Eve. So Anyhow, that's the quick in and out of um, Samhain. It is a, a, you know, a celebration of all things hidden. It's celebration of spirit. It's a celebration of the transition between this life and the next. And uh, at least that's my interpretation. I'm going to stick to it. You may disagree. Others may disagree, but that's the quick and short version of my interpretation of Samhain. So let's talk about, um, I am so excited. I can't tell you. I, I'm I, I feel really good today. I feel really good. So let's talk about the astrology, okay? Um, yeah, the astrology is uh, kind of gnarly today. So we're not going to talk about that part. We are going to talk about Venus trining Pluto. So Venus and Virgo trining beautifully, connecting beautifully. Um, Virgo is an earth sign. Capricorn is an earth sign. So Venus in Virgo trining um, Pluto in Capricorn. Okay. And Pluto is direct now. Thank goodness. Okay. Venus is direct right now. Thank goodness. So let's focus on the good stuff for today. Okay. So why am I excited about this particular trine? I usually don't get excited when Pluto is involved in anything, but I'm really excited right now because Venus, the goddess of love, the goddess of aesthetics, the goddess of, you know, goodness and connection is connecting to the Lord of the underworld. Then this is what the season is about. This is what today is about, the underworld, okay? So this beautiful, you know, trine between Venus and um, Hades, Pluto, the Lord of the underworld is perfect for uh, this, this uh, today, for Hallow's Eve, for, for Samhain. Now, the aspect isn't quite direct. Um, it's not exact just yet, but we are working towards that exact alignment, but that's okay. We'll take it because for me, it's the best part of the astrology today. So let's enjoy all things underworldly today. Let's enjoy all diving in deep to ourselves and diving, diving in deep to this, you know, a Samhain Hallow's Eve. Okay. All right. So how do we do that? Great. I'm glad you asked. All right. I have a few little quick um, ins and outs that you could do to celebrate today. 
preferably with candles or one candle or a match, birthday candle, doesn't matter. Because it is a fire festival, we do want to involve some sort of flame. Um, unfortunately, all of my flames are downstairs <laughs> where my witchy stuff is. So we're going to pretend there's a flame here. Okay. All right. But the first thing I like to do is, you know, taking a journal, right? Look at this beautiful journal. I know it's gorgeous, isn't it? This is amazing. I absolutely love it. I'm not going to show you what's in my journal, obviously, but I will show you the paper. Look at that. It is handmade. Beautiful, right? Very, very, very witchy vibe for, for today, for sure. But one of the simple little activities that you can do is take your journal, okay? And just look, um, Samhain is the beginning of the witch's year. Okay. It's, uh, it's not new year's. Okay. It today is the beginning of the witch's year. So today would be a great time, even if you're not a witchy gal. Okay. But today would be a great time to just sit and ask yourself what you want maybe for this next following year. Okay. Or even better, what you want to focus on. Okay. During the fall and winter seasons, when the sun is furthest away from us, right? The cold season. And that's why we involve all things hidden during the fall and winter season, because everything shuts down. Ideally it would, right? Okay. But it shuts down. It's time to go within. It's time to self-reflect. And so journaling today on um, Hallow's Eve on Samhain would be a wonderful um, activity for you to do. And just take, take a look at what it is that you want to explore, um, self-reflect on here in the next few months. All right. So quick little activity you could do. You could also honor your ancestors, your spirit guides in here. You can write letters um, to your ancestors, those that have passed away. I write a letter to my um, my dad, my papito, okay, all the time. And so this would be a wonderful activity for y'all to do if you want to pay reverence to um, any, you know, ancestor that has um, transitioned from this earthly incarnation. Okay. The next little activity and you don't have to own this by any means, but I did want to share this with you because it's my favorite, favorite, um, written book of shadows. It's the witch's grimoire. Okay. Create your own book of shadows. And it's by a Judy M. Nock. Now I love this because this is like a workbook in and of itself. So book of shadows, what that is, is, you know, we witches keep a, um, a quote unquote journal like, um, book. So it's a book of shadows. This is my journal. This is not my book of shadows, but, um, what we do is that we write down all of our witchy things. Um, we write down our spells. We write down our um, correspondences, like the crystals that we use, what crystals mean. Uh, we we use astrology, okay? We, we write down our tarot messages in this book of shadows. So you can do anything with your book of shadows. And today would be a perfect time to start a book of shadows, okay? Um, and this, this uh, book is a perfect um, workbook to help you start working on your book of shadows in case you're not familiar with how to do this. And I love it because um, she explains the different parts of what a book of shadows would entail. Okay. And there's also opportunity for you to fill out. Okay. So you can fill out right there. You can fill out, uh, you know, the intentions for that particular se section of the book. So it is like a workbook in and of itself. So I love this. Okay. So the witch's grimoire, one of the best books ever, if you are interested in witchy vibes. And of course we cannot let today go without doing a witchy reading. So I am going to be using my favorite Oracle of all time, the um, earthly souls and spirits a moon Oracle by Terry Foss. I love her work. I did a little video just kind of flowing through the cards and um, yeah, I'm really excited to do this. But before I do that, I did have to pull and just share with you um, four of the cards. Where'd they go? Here we are. Four of the cards that I feel have the most like they're all witchy. Don't get me wrong, but these had pumpkins. These had pumpkins in them. So abundance. Look at that. Yes. Today is officially Samhain. Today is officially the witch's day. And so I am super happy. Look, compassion. All right. Um, purpose, purposeful. My brother, who is a, uh, my brother, Jaime, some of you might know, he is a uh, certified high performance coach. And we talk about purpose all of the time. So if you're interested in coaching and high performance coaching, like life coaching, you can find him. You can find him. I'll, I'll, I'll link his stuff because you can absolutely find him. All right. And the last one. Yes. That was a plug for my brother because I love him. Okay. And prosperity. Look at that. All right. So let's do a witchy reading. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just look. So you see, I'm not intentionally pulling out specific cards. 
These are beautiful. All right, so let's see what our witchy reading for Samhain is, okay? Um, like I have to be honest with you, the, the, this day is really about the veil thinning, and there is such a thing as the veil thinning, okay? Uh, especially if you're sensitive to energy and you've worked with energy, um, you know, maybe you were um, a sensitive, empathic, psychic, okay? And having grown up in a very, very haunted house, um, when I was a kid and, um, you know, having psychic abilities and, and empathic abilities, that's the fascination, um, with this day. I think that's where my fascination with this particular time period started, because I did want to know all of those, you know, I was seeing ghosts and spirits and, uh, and some other stuff that was not very pleasant, um, that I actually am working through therapy with uh, for because, you know, hmm activated my nervous system. Imagine being a kid and just seeing things and not being able to explain what they are. But anyhow, let's forget that. Um, yeah, so this is the perfect time. The veil does thin. So you may experience more paranormal activity during this time. You may experience more connecting to spirits. You may experience seeing things, you know, on your periphery, uh, just out of the blue and then turning around and they're not there. This is literally a time when the veil thins. So Let's take a look at our um, reading for today. All right, I would say, tell me when to stop, but how about I just say when to stop? So let's just stop and one more. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have, our message for today. Centered, oh, look at that beautiful moon. Centered, and we just had a lunar eclipse in Taurus a few days ago, so this is very appropriate. Okay, so centered. You know, this is a, a I feel like, for the witchy vibe, okay, it is about being centered, okay? It is about bringing balance to life. It's about bringing balance to your experience. And that's really what um, the healing aspect of witch work is. It's about bringing balance to life. Everything in this universe, everything in life is very much centered on finding balance. If we have too much of something, then we're depleted in another area. If we have depletion in one area, then we have too much in another area. So the essence of which work for me is very much about finding balance, finding balance in your life, finding balance, you know, in your friendships, finding balance in your relationships and your finances, finding balance um, is really the middle way. And the middle way is the approach that we witches take when we are working with healing and especially with spirit. So now what you can do is use your journal and maybe journal, you know, some of the ways that you need to find balance in life for the season. Maybe it's about self-reflecting because we're going into the fall and winter seasons, self-reflecting on how you can find more balance in life. So I am okay with that one. I don't know about you all, but I am definitely okay with that one. Let's pull one more and relax. Have a good time tonight. Honestly, y'all be safe. If you're going to go trick-or-treating, um, be safe. Uh, enjoy. Have a good time. I hope it's nice and chilly wherever you all are at. And um, that is it. I'm I'm happy. I'm very happy today. I'm, I can't, you can tell I'm happy. All right, everyone. That is it. Enjoy Samhain. Enjoy Halloween. And um, blessed be.